Dear brothers and sisters, last night I had a dream that I was sitting at a table beside my father. He gently reminded me to take good care of my puzzle pieces. I looked at one piece and it said Andrew 3. And then my father told me, say fig. I had two additional dreams that are related that I will share, but first I'll share the interpretation of this one. My father represents my heavenly father. My puzzle pieces are the dreams, visions, and words he gives me regarding his return. He had to gently remind me not to worry about what other people think. From doubting family, friends, and relatives, to faithless church folks steeped in tradition, to mockers and scoffers that sometimes cause me to doubt. But my father reminded me to treasure my puzzle pieces. Who else did God give dreams, visions, and words? God spoke this way to Daniel, to Joseph in the Old Testament, who had the coat of many colors, to Joseph in the New Testament surrounding Christ's birth, to the wise men, to Abraham, Abimelech, John, Jacob, Pharaoh, Pharaoh's cupbearer, Pharaoh's baker, Samuel, Solomon, Zacharias, Pilate's wife, Peter, Cornelius, Ananias, Paul, and even the soldiers relaying and interpreting their dreams that Gideon overheard, predicting Gideon would win the battle, which God used to greatly encourage Gideon. My God is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and he is using these dreams to encourage many people regarding our impending victory. In my dream, my puzzle piece said Andrew 3. Andrew means brave, strong, courageous warrior. God is reminding me and all the believers to be brave, 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 times three, just as he is holy, holy, holy. He then told me to say fig. This is reminiscent of Matthew 24, 32, which says, Now learn a lesson from the fig tree. When its branches bud and its leaves begin to sprout, you know that summer is near. In the same way, when you see all these things happening on the earth, you can know that his return is very near, right at the door. The Lord wants me to share the message that his return is near, using my puzzle pieces, so to speak. So here are my next two dreams I had last night. In one dream, I was packing to move to a new home. I was homeward bound. Another lady was helping pack, and we were dusting off the tables. While packing, I discovered my husband had left a very large stash of rolls of Christmas wrapping paper. Here is the interpretation. We will soon be leaving our temporary home on earth and moving to our homeland in heaven. We are to store up treasures in heaven, not on earth where they will collect dust. My husband represents the bridegroom of the church, Jesus Christ, and Christmas represents his first coming. We will have a grand celebration at his second coming, and he will give many gifts to his children. He came the first time so all who believe in him can join him in heaven, and he will come again so that all who believe in him can join him in heaven. In another dream, the ship was sailing. In fact, the hour was so late, we were doing our best to get the last few people on the ship quickly. We had to give them a ride on a water taxi for an hour to catch up with the ship. Dear ones, the hour is very late. The ship is reminiscent of the ark, which was Noah's only way to be saved from all that would be coming on the earth. It's time to get on the boat if you haven't already and be saved. Jesus Christ is the only way to be saved. Believe in him so you will not perish but will have everlasting life in our eternal home. Put your faith in Jesus today. Say this prayer. Dear God, I ask that you forgive me today, even now, and cleanse me. Right now I receive your grace and forgiveness. I accept the sacrifice Jesus made on the cross for my sin and thank you that my debt has been paid in full. Thank you, God, for forgiving me. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. And just as you have forgiven us, Lord Jesus, we forgive those who have sinned against us. Thank you, Father. Amen.